BIM is expected to grow by almost 22% between 2016 and 2022. It can help with constructability, analysis, logistics purposes, and even job site planning. But will it integrate with all your drones? To answer that question and so much more, I sat down with Chris Carodi, Principal for DroneBusiness.Center, and Colin Snow, CEO of Skylogic Research at InterDrone. Let's hear what they had to say. So Colin, let's talk a little bit about how BIM is being used at the construction job sites because for the past 10 years, we've had BIM mm -hmm. and everybody's talked about the miraculous changes BIM's going to do, but not a whole lot has changed in 10 years. But now, are we finally going to see BIM and collaboration finally happening at the construction job site and workflows improving things? Yeah. Well, so I can talk about where drones fit in that and I can fit, talk about what we've seen from the use cases in the companies we've talked to like BAC and a few of the other uh, larger and even smaller firms that are using drones as part of the reality capture. So understanding the plan versus as is. So in the BIM, you know, in a big model where you're trying to bring together your, your CAD versus, you know, what's happening on the ground, um, and you want to put that together in in some kind of a workflow. Drones had a, a, a real great uh, tool for understanding the, so I, when we talk about it, we talk about it in the phases of construction. We talk about planning, then we talk about the actual construction, then we talk about the maintenance, and then we talk about the deconstruction. So in the planning phase, um, sort of where, where drones are being used in the BIM process is to understand the context for, let's say a reconstruction, let's say I'm adding a wing to a hospital. And I want to get a sense of how that new wing will look. Uh, so uh, the drone gives you a perspective so I can fly above and look down onto the property and the surrounding neighborhood. So I get some context for what that building will look like. So I'm in the planning stage and I'm selling this, right, as, as part of my marketing material, as part of a, a community outreach. Um, I can show now versus what it'll look like in the future. So that's one part of it then. And then in the construction phase, right, I have my CAD drawings, I have my things, and, you know, kind of the old way was, you know, you plan it and you throw it over the wall and then you give it to the construction crew. You hope and then, something's going to happen. Yeah, you hope something's going to happen. You hope it's going to happen right. Uh, so in the BIM model, right, the BIM and, and drones and having that access to that information, now I can continually look at the progress of the plan versus actual, and I can understand where is there rework that needs to be done? Was the pour done right? Um, you know, is there enough rebar? Um, is the is the piping going in the right place? It, you, all throughout the phases, right? Even looking down on top at, at at and people are doing this on a daily basis. They're taking drones up and they're are they're uh, taking that capture and putting it back on top of the CAD drawings and and layering that. So uh, we think tools uh, drones are a great tool because it's easy to do. You take off from the ground, you go up, you do your capture in five or ten minutes. You process the data. That data can be available the next day. So, Chris, do you think we needed to have something new like drones to get the value out of BIM to make it something in a collaborative environment to really make this BIM discussion pop? Honestly, no, we didn't. What did we need then? Uh, you need a commitment from senior management to implement a very different kind of way of working mm -hmm. and methodology than, you know, has is traditional in many construction companies. You know, I worked uh, with Colin to write a paper for inner drone about construction it's an eight trillion dollar business right it's people build stuff all over the world and they do it in different ways and bim has enormous advantages but it takes a a commitment to a way of working and then drones are a nice add-on it's a nice way to add another layer of data i mean part of what we're seeing what i'm seeing here at the show this week is we're going to start to think more and more about 3D representations of objects, buildings, construction sites, whatever you want, that are linked to other kinds of data that help you manage and make sense out of it, right? So, but I don't think that drones, I, th I think anybody who's saying, well, buy a drone and do BIM, let's, let's do the numbers. So do you think it's then, as we're talking about a change in mindset that has to happen in a construction company? Yeah, it's a cultural change that I believe this type of thing is generally driven top down and I think that people say hey we're McKinsey said what 80 percent over budget most of the time or behind schedule if you want to change that and be more profitable I, I worked with Boeing about 20 years ago on the 777 
and it was the first time they'd used 3D design. It was called working together, and every single department had an interface, and you had a 3D model that showed where your part or your pipe or your wire intersected with everybody else. Well, why did they do that? They did it because a lot of these companies lose their money on rework. So where do you think we're headed right now? Just quickly, where's the future of construction headed if we look at all of this? When we look at drones, we look at BIM, what's your, we've got just about a minute left, where do you think we're headed? Well, so there's visionaries that are doing things and, you know, they're doing 3D modeling. They're actually helping, and drones help in this, in creating a 3D model where I can actually do a walkthrough uh, before I'm actually building or before I'm actually doing. And that allows people to see where uh, there might be a problem within the design phase with a particular thing. So that's one. Some companies are actually doing that. They're implementing that 3D technology. So when I look into the future, that's sort of what I see is this reality walkthrough uh, for the construction. So that's what we'll see. How about you? What do you think? I, I think, you know, that these are powerful tools and people will learn how to use them. They'll learn right tool for the job, what's appropriate. And, and you know, I think that a lot of companies right now are looking at, is there an ROI case? Is there a business case for this? And the people who are having success with it will do more. The people who are getting trashed by their competitors because they have technology will say, I have to step up. And it's, it's a kind of a classic technology adoption curve like we've seen with a lot of other things over the last 30, 40 years. They certainly gave us something to think about, right? How will you integrate drones and BIM into your job site? I hope you enjoyed this special edition of Learn It.